Hello, I am Kim Ji Yu Chol, a dentist and veterinarian. Today, I will show you a case of a tooth fracture. With pulp exposure and fractures extending to under the gum line. As shown in this picture, the maxillary right fourth premolar was fractured. The most commonly fractured teeth, and the fracture patterns are almost similar. When a tooth fractures, the dental nerve is exposed and the fracture extends to subgingiva. When the pulp is exposed to the oral cavity in this way, infection by oral bacteria occluded in, causing necrosis of the pulp, and spreading of infection through the root tip. To prevent this, root canal treatment is necessary. The problem is that, in cases like this one, when the fracture extends below the gum line, restoration becomes complicated. The fractured part of the tooth is shown in the left circle. In such cases, if proper gingival trimming tissue and tooth restoration are not performed, persistent periodontal disease may occur. After the procedure, fractures of the teeth and exposure of the pulp can also be detected through x-rays. The photo on the left shows the infected pulp tissue inside the root canal was removed and the sterilization process completed and the photo on the right shows the obturation process in progress. Using a sealer and a GP point, this is an X-ray image. After the final root canal therapy was completed, you can check that the appropriate treatment has been performed. This photo shows the appearance of the tooth after restoration. Using resin following root canal treatment, this is what it looks like after the fractured part of the tooth has been restored and periodontal surgery has been completed.